Grand Rising, wonderful souls, and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome, and it's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, it's good to have you back. Get your tea, get your snacks, get yourself comfortable. You know how my reads go. Um, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. Why am I putting this away? I'm really thirsty. Mm. Thank you for your emails. Please know that at the moment I am not responding to emails or taking any more uh, personal readings. My readings are closed. I am at the moment just focusing on the people that I have already um, custom fit readings for. I will let you know when they are open again. Now I know that I have to state at the start of all of my readings that my readings are for entertainment purposes only, even if they feel like they are very accurate or personal. Um, by watching my readings you are taking accountability for yourself and in agreement that any actions that you take while listening to my readings or afterwards are on you. They're your, and I don't say that in a horrible way but I'm responsible for myself and no one else. Um, if anything comes up, especially if anything comes up in the areas of finance, law, mental health, physical health, um, please ensure that you are, if it's resonating for you and it's resonating with your story, speaking to someone who is qualified in those areas aforementioned before taking any advice or guidance from me from any tarot reader really um if i say he she masculine or feminine male uh female man woman um i'm picking up on energies or what i see on the cards it's really up to you whether or not you assign a gender you don't have to you can sort them around if it actually helps um please know that if i'm talking too fast for you if you look up into the corner where i'm pointing there should be um or is it down the bottom i cannot remember one of the two you can have a look on there on changing the speed I speak very quickly, I get downloads usually very quickly and I know for some people it's a bit difficult for, for you to understand me and I apologise for that but there's nothing I can do about it. If you hear an alarm in the background going off like it is now, it's because I live next to a train station and that barrier, it's the sound of a barrier going down to stop the, um, the vehicles and cars from going past as the train is uh, departing or arriving. So be aware that that goes off maybe every 15 to 20 minutes. Now. Oh, before I carry on, I'm going to be ringing my lovely lady bell. If you have any type of sound sensitivity, please turn down your listening device now, okay? Okay, that one or that one? The big one, okay. Let's go for the big one and see what wants to come out. Hope everyone is doing awesome. We have a magical protector is there for you and a lost magic atonement and rebalance. Someone's guarding you, or there's a protector guarding you to, to stop someone from taking, taking energy. Or to rebalance your energy. What's this about? I'm going to leave that one out actually. This guardian. Someone's got a guard dog of sorts. Gift of sacred sight. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And you've also got a sibling, younger friend or responsibility who's trying to take this. You entrust... Use inspire and trust comfort is upside down. Excuse me. See how I cannot read upside down. Um, you inspire trust and confidence is upside down. There is um, a sibling, a younger friend um, or a family member that is not trustworthy or you do not trust or someone in the collective does not trust. This person may have tried to victimise you or someone in the collective. They may have tried to bully whether that is physically bully, whether that's emotionally bully, whether it's spiritual attacks. Um, and you have a protector here who's stopping that from happening. They're blocking this person from being able to get into your thoughts, I heard. Especially with the gift of, of sacred sight being in reverse. So someone here is also, um, they're blocking stuff from coming forward. Definitely to do with your third eye and your crown. And it's coming from a sibling or a family member or a younger friend. Oh, well... What a way to start off the reading, huh? Anything else? Take care of yourself is upside down. Someone here is really gunning for a person in the collective. But where I've placed this down, this younger brother, or this little brother, little sister, younger friend, siblings, take care of yourself is in reverse. This person, um, maybe they feel like they're in danger. Can I get two more, please? You've attracted wonderful news. I'll show you who to trust. Uh, this came out before, and this is um, cast away out of your depth and feeling abandoned in reverse. This is about not being stressed out by a family member or not being stressed out by your fourth house or wounded, any wounds that you may have that connect you to your family, to your sacral chakra. 
but I will show you who to trust and you've attracted wonderful news. The time has come, the time to act is now. There's a big change coming in. And I say that, right? And look what's underneath. The change is natural, good, and yes, it can hurt. This is removing certain, it's, I heard it's almost like cutting the infectious part out. Because someone here, someone from the collective's family is still trying to attach themselves. They're still trying to attach themselves. And this, I will show you who to trust. You have a magical protector here who is letting you know they're being very um, loud about it. They want you to listen to this. They're like, pay attention, pay attention. You cannot trust this person because this person knows that you've attracted wonderful news. They know that something is coming full circle or the spiral has ended. I had wisdom as light as a feather and I know that's another card in here. So you do have a guide here who is a magical protector. Um, you may have, a, it may be an animal, it doesn't have to be, but this energy, um, yeah, and that's the thing as well, look, I'm showing you to trust, it's another dog on there. Maybe if someone's got a dog, I don't know if this could be Anubis, it could be a childhood pet, um, or another dog animal, animal, energy, excuse me. Time has come, the time is to act now, challenges, use your imagination. This protector is it's like I heard they're warding off evil. They are standing in front, to the side, to the left, to the right, to the back, above, below. They are covering you and protecting you because if, even when you look at this this Rotty here, this Rottweiler, he's not looking at her and it's not because he doesn't love her or doesn't like her, it's because he's sensing danger, he's looking for danger. And it may be something that you don't see or you're not gonna see coming. And this is the reason why you have this magical protector kind of like letting you know, hey, I'm protecting you, there's a reason for it. Let's figure out what the reason is. King of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles. Some, do you know what? I had the energy when I woke up today that there is something, there's, there's being like, there's magic being thrown about and not in a very concise, accurate way it's like someone here is going I don't care if you know what I'm doing I'm going to do it anyway it doesn't matter if I'm hurting myself by doing it with that take care of yourself and reverse a beautiful little worm this person is so ungrounded whoever your sibling or younger friend or this family member is is ve they're very very ungrounded very ungrounded and I'm missing I knew I was looking for those they're very ungrounded and it's it's hurting them or harming them in some way because the King of Wands in this um, deck, yes, it's about, you know, uh, the action of the moving and going forward. And, you know, um, it's a very physical, tangible card. It's also this actual card itself. It always reminds me from the first time I got this deck that I read on an energy to do with like the underworld. And I'm not talking about Anubis. I'm not talking about Persephone or anything like that. I'm talking about the seven deadly sins or the seven princes of h-e-l-l -L. and that's one of them they're working very hard to to burn someone's third eye or to make it so that you can't see something there's something to do with mind control we've got the four the four of pentacles coming out which is all to do with control and then you've got the queen of pentacles it's to do with money because you've what you've attracted wonderful news the queen of pentacles and because they know that you don't trust them because you've got the nine of wands here someone's got their boundaries up and you have your boundaries up for a good reason because you have six of wands here cutting this person out physically was the best thing someone could do now there's a need to remove that last cord or that last binding you've got magic here they want to get some sort of victory because the thing is the magician is about having all the resources that you need to create whatever you want within present time within you know being in the present and going right well i have this and i can make it into that much or i could I, I have that and i can turn it into something that actually sustains me um it's also to do with the energy of gratitude now you have the seven of swords here to the six of wands this is um i don't know if someone spoke their mind to whoever this little brother little sister is before leaving and if you haven't this may be what you're being asked to do the six of wands speak there's something here about speaking your truth brings you in victory 
especially when it comes to you've attracted wonderful news and I will show you who to trust. Because that kit soon has a number two on it, which is the high priestess or high priest. It's all about balance. And you've got the higher front coming out in reverse. You've got temperance coming out. You've got the two of pentacles. And we've still got the seven of swords in reverse. Hmm. This is about, I don't know if there is a contract of some sort, a separation of some sort. They've got to give it back. They've done something, they've got to give it back. Now, temperance is about healing. Do you know what? I don't know what it is that's coming forward with this You've Attracted Wonderful News, but I feel like whatever this experience is, is going to be extremely healing for someone. When it comes to somebody in your family that you are estranged, estranged from or that you don't speak to or, you know, wasn't a very nice person and then passed away and there was no way to gain closure, whatever that may be for you when it comes to your experience, there is um, something coming up where you are going to be given the platform to heal in a way where you can express yourself and know that there's no, um, there's no retaliation. People are going to support you. And I don't know if this is to do with a business of some sort. It's definitely got finances in here. Now you've got a court of law coming out as well, especially with the Hierophant. But it being in reverse... I don't know, head out of bounds. You've got two of pentacles. This is about a transition. It's also about balancing things or weighing things out before making a decision. Um, the way that this, this woman is holding those coins, they're more or less quite equal. This person, somebody's, whoever this is for you and your family, they were trying to bring, they want to bring the, the scales into balance. They feel like you have a really high advantage or you have a big advantage because of your gifts. I had because of someone's sacred sight, someone here is a mystic, a seer, a medium. They've got really strong claircognizance, whatever it may be for you. You've got the star and the emperor coming out. This is a go-getter. This is somebody who either is very beautiful or is very well known or people. Um, there's a lot of influence that you or someone that you know has on others i think it's the way that you lead it's the way that you are a leader and you have a sibling here who doesn't like this or you have a family member who doesn't like this there seems to be competition there does seem to be competition they're, they're trying to, i don't know exactly what they're trying to do with this air magic or mental magic but it's there's a want for someone here to either rush something and mess it up or for you to let down your energetic boundary so that they can get into someone's mental mind or mental map is what I keep hearing but there's money coming to someone no my hand is itching they want you to give them money my hand on my right is, is itching that is giving isn't it and this is receiving they want you to give them something what do they want you to give them? What do, what do they want? Because the emperor is an, a, a CEO or an entre entrepreneur, somebody who has their ish together. They Look, this, this guy is, is um, battle ready. He's ready to defend what's his. There's a want to control this emperor. They want money. How are they doing this? No, why are they doing this? Why do they need money? High priestess is in reverse because this high priestess is blocked. There's something about um, them trying to block this healing experience coming through for you. And I keep hearing on a platform, it's almost like TED Talks for someone. And it doesn't have to be exactly that, but it's that type of energy of someone being seen and heard and listened to and being given enough space to explore their depths in a really... Um, What's the word? Conductive way. Or, yeah, conductive way. It's, it is like TED Talks. It's that energy of going to um, listen to someone and hear about their, their story, their life story, and how, you know, whether the moral of the story is about trust or about courage or about faith or about hope. It's something that inspires others and also gives you or someone in the collective 
the space to actually do this and because it's going to be so healing and you do have somebody here who classes themselves as a um, dark high priestess who wants to block this they don't want you getting this because it means that you get fame or you get you get well known you may become a celebrity they want you to keep your guard up especially as the queen of cups is someone who's very nurturing they're very loving they have a very maternal energy um they're very kind is what i heard but with the nine of wands here as well this can be this is the wounded warrior is about healing but what i'm also getting is that they want you to have your boundaries up because when you look at this woman in in this picture she's she's not the wounded warrior she's not the the healing warrior if that makes sense she's just wounded wounded as in um she's not ready to heal just yet because she's still got people at her you know to the back here who have burned everything and they're coming after her so she, she hasn't had time to sit down and kind of reflect and you know lick her wounds or anything like that and there's a, there's a want to control um they want to keep someone in that stasis of um stress or confusion or things going wrong or like minor irritations and you've got the two of cups coming out here so this is an imbalance someone here is very very unbalanced who is it? This one or that one? Okay. Why is this high priestess so unbalanced? Why are they so unbalanced? They're not, they don't feel safe. And we got that at the start with take care of yourself. They do not feel safe. Gaia, and they feel very ungrounded. Because it was something to do with the dedication to achieve. They were focusing on and resulting from the rules imposed by. Because of something that they've done, they've broken some sort of spiritual law. They've, they've done something that's disrespected angels or they've disrespected some sort of energy. And with Gaia, it says the frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another, just as we are to the great mother, to our great mother and to the universe that birthed us all. And it's upside down. What have they been saying online? Are they watching someone online? They may have been trying to make someone here feel frightened. They wanted someone to stay in their, their fear. And they've, they've dedicated time to this. They've been sending malicious energy towards someone for a while, you know. Excuse me, adjustments are required. They're trying to adjust this person's perception of themselves, to know thyself, to be closer to God, the universe, Allah, Vishnu, whoever you see it as. Um, but also to be in like that fight, flight or freeze mode. Secrets are revealed though. Something's coming out about this person. That may be why they're feeling unsafe as well. Because you have naked. Upside down. Naked gives me the energy of being vulnerable or being open. Now with it in reverse, this is talking about keeping things to ourselves. Someone here may have the air of mystery or this sibling or family member or younger friend whoever this is if you haven't spoken to this person in a while they don't know who you are they don't know how you are deflecting something or how you're being protected they don't realize that you have this loyal guardian a magical protector that is there for you and with the number 33 on there it's giving me a send of master energies as well that could be jesus that could be kuan yin it could be kathumi um it could be buddha it could be um Master Saint Germain, he works with the Violet Flame. It could be it could be any of the others, there's loads of them. But there is something that they want you to know. They want you to know what's going on here because there is some sort of intent to um, manipulate, mind manipulate, to get you to do something. Change, look, I told you, they want you to change something. The frequency of change, subsorability, to gracefully dance with the, the forever changing nature of reality both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and birth of the new. So they've been trying to change something. They're trying to stop your healing. They do want you to be in fear. And they've made it, they've dedicated so much time to doing this. They may be missing time from work. They've been doing this for so long. But their secrets have been revealed. Oh, they may be thinking that they're going to um, release something to do with you that's supposed to either make you fear or, I heard, humble you. It's supposed to humble you. 
Wow. Door to personal healing and happiness. And then you've got North Node here. They don't like this. Oh my goodness. So this loyal guard guardian, this magical protector that is there for you, is guarding your North Node. They are guarding your door to personal healing and happiness. They do not want this person or whoever they're working with to mess with your mental health or your physical health or your emotional health or your financial health, I heard. First house immediately, the way you project yourself, do it on your own. So there's been they, they want to there's something about leaking information or a video or photographs maybe when you were younger you took substances or you drank too much or you partied too hard or you're promiscuous or whatever that may be and you know we all learn we all change and we're always ever evolving into the people that we're supposed to be um so there's no judgment for me whatsoever life is life right um that this person this they want people to look at you in a certain way they want people to see you as being a substance user or a substance abuser. They want people to talk about this, that what you want to be known, what is believed about, use the quickest way and. This is giving me um, putting something on social media or they want you to change the job that you're in. They feel like you're dominating it too much. Time for healing. Yeah, this person's holding a grudge against you. They're holding a grudge. Don't let pride get in your way. This person's very prideful. Or they want you to be they want you to be seen as prideful or egotistical. I'd like to know also. Um, right, so let's see. What is it that they, they're going to do? What are they going to do? Let me make sure that it's all the same way over. They want to block some sort of um, collaboration from coming in. Three of Pentacles, improvements underway, but delays around, around it. Ren Renown, glory, place of worship, and it's upside down. They want people to start talking about you in a certain way so that they ostracise you. They stop listening to you. Um, it could be that, you know, you hang around the, the water cooler at work and you chat with your friends and blah, blah, blah. Or you're a really good manager, whatever it may be. They want people to start to not see you in that respectful light. You've got the Four of Swords here. And it's in reverse. Something about the way that you heal yourself. Sickness, bed illness, needing to take time out, rest and relaxation is needed here. And it's upside down. This, with it being upside down, this is talking about um, exhaustion. Um, not taking any time out whatsoever. But that bed sickness and illness, there's something about how you heal, how you look the way that you look. Because someone's got a nice skin. Someone has got really glowing skin, and that is irrespective of gender. Someone just looks after themselves. They drink their water. They, you know, they stop consuming certain foods. They stop consuming certain foods, which have really helped, which is why you've got the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Elevation of money, overseas trip, completion phases. This is what they're trying to block. And then you have the sun, marriage, happiness, and bright prospects. With the Empress, delays will improve necessary. Is that right? But the Empress is about growth as well, right? And you've got the Knight of Pentacles underneath there. You've got the Sun. There's a lot of really good stuff coming to someone here. And they're adamant they're going to stop this. Or they want to... They, it's not even that they just want to stop it. They don't want to stop it abruptly, even though we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. There's something here about doing it bit by bit by bit. Because they want someone here to lose hope or faith in their dreams. Because you have the tower in reverse. The tower in reverse is it's like a continued oppression. It's knowing that the situation sucks, but staying there. And it pushes someone into their south node. Because the more you're in an environment that is just, it's not the same vibration that you're vibrating at, the more it's going to pull you down. The more that we ignore it, the more it kind of consumes us. And it says here, catastrophe, accident, things happening very quickly at lightning pace. And it's upside down. They're also doing this because they get money. There's something, there, there is something about removing your auric protection. Then they can control where you're spending your money or who you are ignoring when it comes to your North Node. Ten of Pentacles, money contentment, signing of a money agreement. 
they want this but they want it to be like slow they want it to your undoing to be slow six of cups this is someone from the past childhood memories yeah this this person um i feel like they blame you for something when it comes to the past when it comes to maybe your childhood when it comes to growing up i heard you weren't there for me from my own personal experience that's the biggest crock of ish however there's someone here this person i don't know if they have um they've made up the story in their head that you weren't there for them or if you just were like you know what i've had enough of this i need to set healthy boundaries i can't be there for you anymore because you're just draining me yeah i say that and look what comes out strength in reverse and it says inner strength confrontation with yourself or other people upside down and this is what I mean by this person may have been bullyish. And I don't know in which way, but it doesn't matter which way it was. It's It still leaves a, a scar, you know. Four of Wands, happy home, possible country setting. And Knight of Wands, important matter. So I don't know who this young man is, but there's someone here who's rushing forward to give you some sort of information that's coming out in a lot of our readings. A lot of our readings. And your magical protector is going to let you know whether this person is trustworthy or not. You have someone who's very ambitious. They may match your energy. They're coming forward with this. Um, they may be coming forward with basic good news. But the page of cups is also the energy of someone coming forward with a love offer. <laughs> Look, eight of cups, money problems, turning your back and walking away, knowing nothing more can be done. So there's more than one person here. Do you have um, a younger friend or a sibling here who has a grudge? They've been holding a grudge for a while and they have been, they've been, they've been cutting class or school or they've been not going into work so they can continue to do something to mess with this Queen of Cups, which I'm taking it is you or whoever it is that you're thinking of. But this person has put themselves and, and others in danger, I heard, or in jeopardy. Now you also have a knight of wands. You have another person here that is rushing forward with a letter with information re result, re revolving around this. This is the secrets revealed. This is, they're going to let you, they're going to give you clarity on who this person is or what this person's been doing and how they've been projecting onto you. Using childhood memories or using images of you guys when you were kids. That's weird, man. Now, this person coming forward, its they're not coming forward out of the, the kindness of their heart. They want something, especially with money problems coming out and turning your back and walking away. You know, nothing can be done. So they're going to come forward and be like, you know, there's no I can't change this person's mind because they are dead set on doing this, knowing even though they've got ill health or they're, they're, they're not safe or they're putting other people in danger and i don't mean just in this this the ethers because somebody here is angry in the ethers including whoever this uh, magical protector is but i'm also talking about in this realm because everything that happens up in the ethers then trickles down into the 3d whatever they've done i don't know if they've broken laws here in this realm because they were doing it against the high priestess the highest card in the tarot deck very powerful good or bad secrets to be revealed there's secrets coming out about some sort of paid work that this person took on because they wanted to change they wanted to change your healing i keep hearing it's over but it's over it's over it's over it's over too many what is it that your loyal guardian wants you to know when it comes to um any plans that this family member may have Seven of Swords is coming out. Plans, hopes, wish card, higher, highest minor arcana. This is somebody who's going to come in. I don't know if they're going to um, try and reach out to you in some way. This person's obsessed, you know. I'm getting the energy that this person is obsessed with your downfall. Because you've also got the Six of Swords coming out. And it says here, boat or overwater travel, turning boat out um, of troubled waters into calmer waters. This person wants to come forward with, it's not a fake apology. 
is almost like pretending that they're cool with you. And they'll be like bumping into you and going, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in ages, but they've been plotting where you've been going so that they can plan to bump into you. This person doesn't have to be an air sign, but I'm getting a lot of like Libra, um, Aquarius, Gemini energy, especially as both of them are swords. They don't have to be. This person may be very articulate. They may read quite a lot or they may be very learned. Um, this person has a big vocabulary. And I heard I'll dumb it down for you. This person has got horrible energy. It's got ick. It's giving me the ick. Ace of Cups, security, helping hand is upside down. See, I don't know if this is planned between the two. Because that Knight of Wands, this young man to the, to the age of 25 or whatever, with an important letter, you've got to remember that the Knight of Wands is one of the fastest knights in the deck. It's also a very physical and it's a very phallic kind of uh, symbol, the wand. And with it being the knight, this is somebody who um, may try and come onto you. They may try to chat you up, you know. Um, I don't like their energy either because if they've been hanging around with this uh, family member, and them saying they don't really know this, what else can they do, you know, this has ended, I've walked away from them. Yeah, but they were with them for how long while they were doing this towards you? Especially if they come forward with this information of you know that they've been doing this for years. It's like, yeah, how come you were sitting there? What exactly do you want from me? Because it's a handout. They want a handout of some sort. And also, I don't know if this, this Knight of Wands is feeling unsafe as well, because I did say, didn't I, um, that it's not just this family member that feels unsafe, it's it's their loved ones or it's people around them. People around them. And this Knight of Wands is coming forward because they feel like, I feel like they want to get this uh, family member back if they've broken up or they've walked away. There's something they're not telling you. Queen of Swords. Uh, cold, hard, demanding and authority. And it says for the world, overseas trip, money, luck, world in the palm of your hands, new opportunities are upside down. And then you have the two of one, ones, short journey, movement, or to or near water. So someone here is, they're blocked, or they've run out of money, or they're running from someone. Because of something they said, they're really stressed out about this. Tears and frustrations, letting go of emotions. They're really upset about this. They may have left an, in a fiery argument. You're not safe here is what I'm hearing. You're not safe here. Now I want to just get a little bit of energy or information or what exactly they've been up to. Juliet has come out. And you've got Mercutio. Wow. So we all know, you know, Mercutio was in love with Romeo. But he never told him, did he? He never told him. He was always just his best friend. Um, but there was a lot of jealousy there. Juliet, you know, Juliet fell in love with um, the one that she was never allowed to fall in love with. Now let me see if I can find Juliet and then Mercutio, because Mercutio is coming out as a fool. He's not coming out as a villain. There are different, um, you have the spades on the back here. The spades are the wands. Uh, no, clubs are the wands, which is this. Spades are swords. Pentacles, um, diamonds are pentacles and hearts are cups. I confuse myself every time I read this. Okay, so. Juliet. Juliet's family is at war with the Montagues, but she doesn't care. Her parents have insisted that she, she must marry Count Paris, cousin to the Prince of Verona, who is handsome, wealthy and honourable. But when Romeo Montague sneaks into her parents' party, she too finds true love for the first time. Okay. Oh, so that's what they're trying to do. This is what a family member's trying to do. They're trying to stop you from falling in love. Or and I was getting, this is not just about fear. This is fear of being vulnerable. This is fear of being vulnerable. They want you to open up about something, especially this naked card being here. They feel like you're being too mysterious or you're not giving enough away. They want to know more. And Mercutio. So they may have... I, I feel like this Knight of Wands has walked away 
from this family member but I don't think that they've walked away completely. I feel like they're trying to do something to maybe either get back at them or get back with them. So they may be trying to come in as the Romeo. Okay. And don't be fooled. Let me see. Fools and gestures. I've never read the Mikushi one. So that's really interesting. Let me see. Where are you? Hmm. Where did you go? Sorry. Let me see if I can find them. So the villains are there. And then there. Am I missing something? Mercutio, there we go. The thing is though, whenever I think of Mercutio, I think of the dude from the actual film with Leonardo DiCaprio in it. So Mercutio is always going to be a person of colour to me. Now it says on here, Mercutio is Romeo's funny, scrappy, unpredictable friend. He enjoys going to parties, fighting duels and making fanciful, fanciful speeches about fairies. He tells Romeo to stop sulking about a girl called Rosaline. Rosaline. Poor Rosaline doesn't even turn up in the play and come and have some fun at the Capulet Ball instead. So you have, do you know what? That Knight of Wands is not Romeo. That Knight of Wands is Mercutio. And this person is coming in to invite you to a party or invite someone here to a party or invite them to an event of some sort. It's all planned out. It's what I heard. It's all flipping planned out come to this possible country setting a happy home we're doing i don't know this collaboration or this event or retete but it's all being planned by this high priestess in reverse silliness absolute silliness and what would be the result please result please the result clarity the result we have is um kimberline 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 number three in reverse and that is pentacles, this is to do with money. This is number three as well. This is a collaboration. This is a collaboration. And let me find Kimberline. I've never heard of Kimberline, but I haven't I haven't actually read all of the different plays, only some of them. Kimberline, where are you? There we go. Or Cymbeline, please correct me if I have pronounced it wrong. Kimberline or Cymbeline is king of ancient Britain. He is in conflict with the Roman Empire and their demands for tribute when he discovers his only living child has married against his wishes. With the queen scheming to put her son on the throne, will Kimberline or Cymbeline be able to find wisdom and mercy in time? Two of Wands. There's this energy of um, inviting someone here to some sort of party or some sort of event just to embarrass them or just to especially with the juliet card coming out this person this mercutio is going to invite them to some sort of party with the understanding of old juliet you know come it might i don't know if it's speed dating why am i getting like speed dating or some sort of i'll match you with someone and they're going to purposely introduce you to somebody who is um the world in reverse, somebody who is the ace of cups in reverse, they're not a helping hand. There's somebody who is bullish as well. This is one of the, um, what's the word, associates of this king of wands. It may be their father, I don't know, this is an older man, older man or older male energy. I heard ridicule, they want to ridicule someone, they want to make someone feel embarrassed. Um, because this family member is fully aware the only way to get into your aura, your energy, as if you let them because this magical protector is there for you they're letting you know that this is what's going on and to be aware of this and this is something that you don't see coming so just open your eyes on here and be aware look storm warning coming through and you've got the power of love investment gambles and other games your creations so this could be an invite to like an event for whatever it is that you're creating be you a singer dancer illustrator ventriloquist i don't know whatever it is that you do there's an invitation to go somewhere. And it's not saying that you shouldn't go to this invitation, you shouldn't go to this event, it's just that you should not go to this event with Mercutio. You should not be going with this Knight of Wands. Because your creations, there's something, um, like I said before, there's something very important that you are to express or that you are going to talk about or that you're gonna create that is not only gonna be very healing for you, but it's gonna inspire others. Now. I don't know this this Mercutio slash Knight of Wands. This person is gonna be like, we should go together, blah blah blah. You don't need to take your own friends. 
seriously it's going to be very healing for you but you need to do it by yourself not not so much by yourself but not with this person not with this person in any way shape or form blossoming abundance creativity i'm telling you and i heard it comes in threes it comes in threes the energy is gaining momentum this is coming soon this is coming soon this ten of pentacles moment is coming for this emperor energy resistance they want you to place some sort of resistance against this don't let your past hold you back so this sibling this family member younger friend whoever it is they are still in cahoots with this king this not king of wands this knight of wands they may have had like an argument i don't know if they're like um f buddies or if it's a situation ship it does it's not marriage it's not it could be marriage but i'm not getting that really i'm getting more their booty calls to each other but then someone caught feelings or something like that and this knight of wands is moving towards you it's a trick there's a, there's almost like a trick they want to trap someone it's that age-old kind of you know when you watch um she's the man or any of those films from like the really late 90s going into the early um 2000s it was always like the one person who gets picked on because they're a bit nerdy looking you know and at school and then a jock's like you want to come to prom with me and they're like oh my gosh yes oh i'd love to and then they get stood up or they get like in never been kissed you know they get eggs thrown at their face when they're waiting outside you know and they see the car going past it's that type of energy that's what i'm getting that's wild i do feel like someone's going to meet someone at this event though power of love again connections look at that it's the power of love so you have a family member here who was trying to control who it was that you went towards yeah your beliefs what you value in your resources because of this this person's but hurt this person is but hurt you've got the wounded healer in reverse they may have been trying to someone may have segment on their team you don't have to but someone has like a big cat energy a big dog energy a big i don't know i was gonna say dragon but no I feel like someone's family member may try may work with dragons or tries to work with dragon energy. Um, they're trying to bring in stress of some sort. They're trying to bring stress into this encounter. Step out of your comfort zone, your beliefs, what you value, your resources. They want someone here to feel um, obliged to be to be helpful. Because this Knight of Wands that's coming in, I don't feel like this person's just going to turn up and be like, hey, how are you doing? Do you want to come to this event? No. This person's MO is do things really slowly with intention and let it build and let people gossip because the people that they're kind of pulling in and talking to and gossiping with are all wounded. But I mean, we're all wounded. But the difference is we're aware that we're wounded and we are taking active steps to actually heal that. But the people that they are kind of whispering over here, did you hear about, you know, 10 years ago or 20 years ago, that person used to party and blah, 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 and they used to fall over all the time, and fall out of clubs and whatever it may be. They're speaking to people like that in hopes that this will just spread like wildfire slowly, bit by bit, by bit, by bit, by bit, right? They're doing the same thing with this, with this, this Knight of Wands coming in. They want to make it so that this person is going to come in as a friend of some sort. Insights to understand the wisdom of resulting from the understanding of. They may want some, yeah, it's thinking that this person is deceitful, but they're going to come in like they don't understand something and they want you to teach them. Maybe they want you to help them with their creativity. Um, by making the right connections, the idea and questions, get your ideas going. They may also tell you that they have really good connections and this event is coming up. And you should go with them. But you've got miracle in reverse. And you've got seasons. This person, they've been planning this for seasons. They've been planning it for a very long time. Woman holding the coin is upside down. Her magic don't work no more. I'm saying her just because it's a girl on there. But your family member, whoever it is that's been doing this, their magic doesn't work anymore look manifestation they were trying to manifest this in they were trying to manifest in some sort of wounding for you people have walked away from them though lots of people have walked away from them you and your loved ones are safe i told you they're not safe 
People are walking away from them because they know that whatever they've done is very risky. So people are after them, the police are after them. I don't know, but the need for control of an obsession with a power struggle. They're obsessed. They're completely and utterly obsessed. Who's after them? Woman holding her heart upside down. Someone who is heartless. Someone they may have shared a house with. Magician in the mirror, somebody who does a lot of illusion spells. Illusion spells. Why are they after them? They tr that heard you. They tricked me into helping them. Aries, energies to meet the challenge of your desires regarding resulting from the honesty and strength of, and then an artificial heart, and then cornucopia is upside down. This person may not have been able to pay for the services, or they may have used their energy in some way without asking them. Aries has come out though, so this person is very fiery. This woman holding the heart does not care. Yeah, artificial heart is upside down. They, they let them know, I'm after you. Cornucopia is upside down because they couldn't give them the money that they owed them. Or something else. Yeah, they look. They, they made it very clear, I'm coming for you. And I said, in your dreams, in your dreams. In your dreams, bro. Ro, I meant to say raw, I meant bro. Bad health. Bad health. No wealthy man. This is, wow, distant horizons. So I don't know where this family member is living. Maybe they don't live in the same country as you anymore or state anymore or continent. You've got a mature woman here who has a need for control, has an obsession with, is in a power struggle because their ex, what, their ex ain't talking to them right now? Or their ex, is, their ex is coming towards you. They've had some sort of argument of some sort. Or they're, oh, okay, so maybe they are divorcing. Mature man in reverse. Over an immature man. Listen, so you have a mature woman that could be your, it could be a, a family member, could be your brother, sister, whoever, who was married to someone. And they're divorcing because um, of a booty call. I told you there was a, a, a knight of wands there who was a booty call. But this mature woman has lost a lot of money. Tell me about the unwealthy man. Unwealthy man, unwealthy man. Tell me about the unwealthy man, please. Message. So this person's been blocked in some way. Turning the troubled waters into calmer waters. Thoughts. Privileged lady. Whoever this unwealthy man is now, they may have thought that they were with someone who was very privileged. They may have thought they were with someone who was very, very privileged, but it turns out that this person don't have no money. Judication. Unexpected incomes gone. This whole community. There's a community of people working together. Or they were giving money. Or they, they want their money back. Oh, so you have a brother, sister, a younger friend or family member who was fleecing a community of people that they were also manipulating towards believing certain sus things about you. Fake sus things. Wow, okay. And this community is taking them to court. So this person isn't privileged no more. Ace of Stones. And then you have the Knight of Swords. They want they want people to be quiet. Or they want you to be quiet. Maybe you know about this and you've been speaking on this. Oh, in your dreams. Listen. Again, they were coming after this person in their dreams. I heard Ratchet. Whoever's family member this is, they are Ratchet. They are, they're trying to get after someone in um, the astral. But this magical protector that is there for you will not let them anywhere near your energy. They're, and this magical protector, I think they're also protecting whoever your um, your counterpart is, your divine counterpart, your you know higher level soulmate is. I feel like someone's going to meet them at this event. Is that Ace of Swords to the Knight? Oh, excuse me, the Eight of the ace of coins to the knight of swords in reverse they've been working hard to get into someone's mind map hard because if this event comes forward and you are you you still have your own free will of course you're going to choose the person you may have had lives before with 
or that you have a soul connection with over whoever it is that they're trying to push you towards which is this this knight of wands energy seven of cauldrons in reverse to the four of cauldrons yeah they don't want you to let go of um having only one point of view or only looking at one person is this like a love spell they're trying to do then is it a love spell page of spears and it went that way as well and you've got the king of stones it's not working you're too healed with the devil here you're too healed or someone here was too healed for this to work show me page of cauldrons now okay so the person that is after um your sibling or your younger friend or your family member they may have um put a lot of money into something i don't feel like it's just oh i'm gonna do something for you, you pay me there's something they invested in and it was supposed to work and it didn't because you have the ten of cauldrons in reverse and you have uh, five of spears it was supposed to get someone kicked out of their home they got and i feel like this person who was helping them out or was getting paid or whatever this person got kicked out of their home and they know that it's because of what they did because they thought that there was no barriers. They didn't know who they were targeting, as in they didn't know whose spiritual team, who was on their spiritual team, who was on your spiritual team. Seven of Spears. Yeah, they feel like they were just... Oh, do you know what? I saw that as the Seven of Swords. I was going to say they feel like they were deceived. But this is the Seven of Spears, which is about competition. And then you've got the Six of Spears here as well. Moving on to um, like victory. Now that's victory. They thought that they were going to get victory. And they were purposely manipulated. I've been told to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated for you, I would love you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when I post. If you are a returning subscriber, soul family, hearts, kisses, stay awesome. I love you guys. Um, I was going to say something that I completely forgot. Oh, yes. Please do not get scammed by anyone in the comment section pretending to be me. I will never reach out and say, you know, WhatsApp me. I will never share my WhatsApp with anyone. I love you all. But I like to keep my personal um, number personal. Um, my readings are closed right now. When I open them, I'll make an announcement. So anyone that's reaching out to you, just go and report them, okay? Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.